So, well time for a new build and I'm um, going to try to do it uh, differently this time. So here we have a lot of parts and uh, I'm going to do the uh, world's quickest uh, drone build. So uh, let's get started. Ta -da! It's all completed. That's the fastest build you've ever seen, huh? Well, there she is, all ready to go. Of course, it's uh, not that easy, of course. Um, what I have here this time is a uh, very light frame from a company locally to me in Norway, which is called Rutaro. And uh, they give me this uh, very light frame, which only consists of a few parts. Much like the Shrike, uh, really, uh, only much lighter. Uh, the arms are really, really thin. And uh, four millimeter thick arms. And these uh, small parts are two millimeter, I think. Let's do measure and see. Yep, two millimeter. Bottom plates, top plate, two millimeter. And the arms are four millimeters. The cutting on them is uh, really nice, uh, I don't see any flaws. Um, as you can see it's been shaved off all the excess material and it has really thin arms as well. Uh, on this build I'm going to try to have the ESCs, which are the uh, 30 amp racer stars. I'm going to try to have them on the bottom of the uh, arms this time, just to avoid the prop strikes. And see how that works out with the frame and the motors are the new uh, RCX the RS2206 2400 kV motors they are really nice uh, steel shaft and strong magnets it's gonna be exciting to see how these motors uh, stand up to the others and they are like nine dollars guys so if they're good I don't see any reason to buy anything else. The camera is the, I'm gonna try the new 16.9 uh, uh, HS1189, uh, which is, uh, like I said, 16.9. Uh, and the lens is 2.5. Just gonna see how that works. It's a CMOS camera, but it's supposedly supposed to have a really low delay. So we'll see how that works out. The uh, VTX is the new ET526 from Ishin, which has uh, the possibility to switch the power settings and as well as uh, switch it off if you want. Um, my controller is the Foxer F303, which is the just a normal F3 board. It's been prepped. The uh, PDB is the Matec Hub OS. The, uh, X version, which has been prepped as well for the camera and the VTX and the 5 volt out. Also added the cap, which is included in the board now, which is recommended. Also, I've added a little bit of a wire to the uh, XT60 as well. I don't like that it's connected directly to the board because if you uh, lose a battery or something, the board breaks right here. So I'd like to have some flex here. So the board doesn't break, but uh, disconnect it. disconnects from the uh, battery itself. So some antennas, standoffs, some screws, and the trusty old Spectrum race receiver as well. That's it. So let's start get started on the build. As always on these builds, I like to keep it as light as possible. And these motors are already quite light, and I try to use just two screws per motor. This time I'm gonna add the ASCs below the arms so I'm gonna have the wire sticking out the end. I'm gonna try to bend them around a little bit make a nice curvature like that. The wires try not to break any wires. Like that. And as always, you need to 
use Loctite on the screws and use the medium type, not the red one, uh, because then you will have a problem later when you're gonna remove the motor and it's stuck. So the blue type, medium type is good. And trying to keep it as light as possible, as I said, by just using two screws per motor, that's usually more than enough. So there's one. Like that. Not too bad. And then the ESCs will go below, like that. And they will be soldered on soon. Just gonna mount the rest of the motors. And so ESCs have uh, been mounted on the arms, like I said, on the bottom this time. So just uh, stuck them on there with some uh, double-sided tape, a soft type, just to insulate it from the carbon. And I just solder on the uh, cut the wires and solder them on the ESCs. Uh, I'll be adding uh, some black electrical tape later around the arms uh, just to protect them. So here we have it, basically the frame, as you can see, extremely narrow frame, yet it's very stiff. Once we get all the screws in, it's really stiff. Um, one thing you have to remember for doing anything else is uh, adding a strap. So I'll go and find one and we'll have a look at that. So here's a better strap. On this frame, it's important that you add the better strap now before you add anything else to the stack or it will be sorry later. One thing it's important though, uh, when you add a strap, remember to file down these edges. I just use some sandpaper to file them down because if you don't, your strap will break really easy as it's going to be laying over the uh, carbon fiber like that. So, add the strap now. So, <clears throat> the uh, strap is on. And uh, next is uh, mounting the screws for the uh, or the electronic stack and uh, my screws are a little bit long this being a proto prototype kit uh, they should be around maybe 23 24 millimeters mine are a little bit long but that's no problem being that seeing that they're going into standoffs later on <coughs> so that's fine i just added uh, some plastic uh, nuts to insulate uh, the boards from the carbon and uh, yeah, now it's just a matter of uh, adding the electronics right here. First comes the PDB. Like so. We have all the wires. This one goes to the VTX in the back. This one goes to the camera up here. And this is for the 5 volts on the uh, flight controller as well. So now we need some uh, more standoffs or nuts, plastic nuts, to go between the PDB and the flight controller. So I'll find that and uh, review. So I just found some uh, standoff spacers. That's six millimeter tall. And uh, you can use nuts, plastic nuts or Something else, um, depending how high your uh, stack is or how your PDB is as well, and uh, depending on what comes in the kit and the final version as well. So I'll just add these uh, standoffs here or these spacers, and uh, we'll come back and review. So the spacers are on like that. Should be a perfect uh, uh, length for the uh, electronics to fit on the PDB 
and on the black controller as well. So next we'll uh, solder the cut the wires for the ECs and solder them on the uh, PDP like that. So the um, wires are now soldered on, cut and soldered on. Turned out that uh, I had some luck. The plus and the minus lines up with the ECs when the ECs are on the bottom side of the arms. So that was uh, makes it really nice and neat. You don't have to cross the wires on top. Uh, that was not lucky at all. So that was a very good uh, planning move from my side. So adding tape here later, it's going to be uh, looking really nice. <clears throat> so next step is uh, actually just uh, putting on the flight controller. And uh, should be on this side, like this. And then uh, shortening in the uh, wires for the uh, signal wires for the ESCs as well. <clears throat> so that's next. So much of the build is now completed. Uh, like I said, just added the flight controller and the standoffs. Uh, if you can see here. And uh, you can see the uh, ESC wires coming up here. I've shortened them and added just the pins for the signal and the ground. I'd like to add the ground as well. I uh, don't think it's necessary, but uh, yeah, just out of habit, I guess. Um, this is the wire for the uh, camera, VTX, and the receiver. And it's looking pretty good. Uh, once I get the tape on, as I said, uh, it's going to tidy up the arms as well. And uh, right now, this looks like a really nice build. The next thing is to just mount the uh, camera pod, which I have here. Which is the camera mounted on the uh, included uh, mount. I've added the uh, spectrum receiver back here. Just uh, double side of tape to the back of it and stick it, uh, stuck it on there on the back of the camera. The VTX just mounts up with the antenna right here. So it's a really, really nice, uh, clean little setup. <clears throat> right now I'm getting about 45 degrees of camera tilt, maybe a little bit more. The 2.5 lens should be perfect. So, gonna mount, uh, mount it up. <clears throat> So guys, it's all completed, uh, with some really nicely colored props, courtesy of uh, Drone Handel. Um, yeah, it's a really nice, tight little build, it feels really light, and uh, that brings us to the interesting part, let's uh, weigh it and see. How much he weighs. Uh, this is ready to fly with the props. 289. 289 grams. Let's see if we can get it on there. No, that's not right. Yeah, 289 grams. Ready to fly. Not bad. With the props and everything. And it feels really light, so that's the build. Uh, next, we'll do the maiden and uh, film some flights on it. Looks good. <laughs> 